Hello! Welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. We are halfway through the game at this point. Where are we headed today? We are headed over there. Lovely stuff. Eight down, eight to go. And we just had that very strange uh, vision, I guess, of our sister waking up and staring at us. But she's not awake, so unsure what's up with that. I imagine we will find out as the uh, as the story continues. Not that there has been a ton of story so far. We got a little bit of story right at the start of the game. And then that's pretty much the only story we've had so far is that yeah. cutscene we just got. Okay. So where was it again? There's more to the left. Okay. So I believe the path we need to take is over here. Yeah. We had to go this way once before. Man. Huh. That's interesting. We had, uh... There's, like, the white doves all around Mono, but that black or brown bird that just flew past us there, I think that's the first time we've seen... One of them since the intro. I don't know if that means anything. The very start of the intro. We had a, I think, I can't remember if it was black or brown, but it was one of them. Uh, was like our lead in. I wonder if that means anything. Probably means nothing. I'm trying to eke out some story here. When the game is delighting in telling me absolutely nothing. But that's okay. Losing track of where I'm supposed to be headed. Uh, can you jump this? Oh my days! You can. That is beautiful. Oh yes, I didn't think you could ride off ledges. Huh. That is awesome. That is so cool. Well done, Argo. Ha! Huh. Ah, okay. That is, uh, <laughs> never mind. That is a big old jump. Don't blame you for not wanting to do that. Is there a little path down? Uh, way over there, I think. Oh. No, that's not the... Yep, turn. God damn it. Oh, Argo. Oh, it's getting dark all of a sudden. There we go. There we go. Okay. Over here. Uh, in there somewhere? Could we go in here? There's a little opening bit, maybe? Oh, yep. Ah, uh, hi. Okay, he's got climbable stuff on his belly. And I don't see any others. Where is he, starters? Oh, right there, okay. So. Question is. Oh, my days. Oh, oh, ow. Okay. Question is, how do we... Oh, pardon me. I just had a sneeze. How do we deal with this bad boy? He doesn't seem to want to come to us. Uh-oh. Man, that is... I think that's still hitting me. Do I have to shoot him? Maybe right in his eye? Uh. Hmm. I don't... No. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's definitely still coming towards me. Um. Can I? Oh no! This is gonna go really badly for me, isn't it? 
What is he doing? What is he doing? I can't jump and get this, can I? No. Okay. Um. Something to do with his tail? Uh oh. Man, I have absolutely no idea how we're supposed to get up here. Hmm. Oh wait, can I just climb up the tail? Hmm. I don't know. Looks like potential ledges up there. Actually. Oh wait, I'm trying to, there we go, find its weak spot. Ah, yes, that's the thing. Oh, its weak spots are its feet. What? I'm gonna die here. Have I died yet? I'm not sure that I've died yet. This might be my first death incoming. Oh, hello. Oh, so that's a bad idea. Okay. I, I genuinely have no idea, guys. This is uh, very weird. The power of the earth shall shake even the Colossus. Yep. You're gonna give me a part two to that sentence? Man, I need my health to regen. Uh, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what to do here, guys, so we're gonna jump cut until I have some idea, and hopefully I won't die, but I'll put it in if I do. So, see you in a sec. Okay, so after I figured this out, in about one minute and then I've spent the next 20 trying to maneuver this guy over one of these holes and oh my god it is the worst thing yes I've done that okay I finally got him to fall over oh good of course he's going to fall over facing that way There's no point trying to use Argo because he controls like, oh good, can I not even... Camera, please! Well, where the fuck's the spot that I hit then? Over here? Watch it be all the way over here. No? Where is it? Holy shit, I think we have a new candidate for the worst boss. Oh, unless it's somewhere else. Hmm. Oh, maybe on his head. Okay, okay, okay. Can you maybe stop? That'd be great, thanks. I just, oh my god. It literally took me 20 minutes of slowly, slowly, slowly walking around him because I tried to use Argo and it didn't work because, damn it. Because it, the boss just got in this cycle of he'd hit me and Argo, and Argo would go down. And then I, by the time that I'd got back on Argo, and then pressed triangle about a hundred times to try and make Argo start moving, by that point he'd shot again, and he'd knock us down again because we weren't able to move enough away. So, yeah. Lots and lots and lots of fun. Okay, this is going to be... Oh, that was one to get a bit of stamina back. Need to just let that refill slightly. 
So yeah, Argo was just stuck in an awful, awful pattern. I didn't die though, so that's something. And that's because where I left off, I was like round the corner away from him and uh, he never chased me. He doesn't chase you round the corner, I discovered. I had to, after a while of thinking that he was probably going to be coming soon, I had to go back and kite him around the trees because his AI isn't smart enough to go around the trees to get to you. He has to go in a straight line. So that's pretty good. With any luck, I'm not going to have to do this again. The climb up to him and knocking him down and everything. But literally, he was just so unwilling to sit on top of one of those, what are they called, geysers? Literally 20 minutes of getting him to turn around, go a little bit forward, a little bit forward, a little bit forward. Thank Christ. That was... Oh boy. Like... Cool design, again, everything looks cool. But there was nothing fun about that encounter. I feel bad, because I know there's tons of people that love this game. And obviously... It's been remastered and then remade, so people like it. But I think a lot of you who liked it from the PS2 days, maybe even the PS3 days, are looking at it with big old nostalgia goggles on. Because back in the PS2 days, I'm sure it was like pinnacle of design and entertainment and was wonderful. But uh, now we're... 13 years later, and game design has come a long way in 13 years. And something like that. Like, if this game got released for the first time today, like, no one had ever heard of it before, hadn't been remade or anything, it was just the first time this game was released was today. I think it would get, like, 7s out of 10. Definitely wouldn't be getting these perfect masterpiece like reviews from everyone and I think it's just mainly to do with the nostalgia factor to be honest but hey at least that uh oh thy next foe is an isolated sand dune its tracks are well hidden oh it's another snake <laughs> snake number two I think there were three snakes Shaking the earth, its gaze upon thee. I think we saw three statues look like snakes. Uh, what was I going to say? Although I guess the first snake, quote unquote, was uh, actually... Pardon me. Man, I've just eaten and I've been sneezing and hiccuping and everything is recording. Bad times. Uh, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, I guess that differentiates this playthrough from most other ones. Because I imagine most people will be fawning over the game because they'll have probably played it before. So, uh, yeah. And I'm sure that makes it a lot simpler when you've done it before and you know what you're doing. His eyes are a bit weird. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Uh, next time we will go and fight snake number two. If you've enjoyed my honest commentary, don't want to lie to you, don't want to say it's the greatest gift to mankind if I don't believe it so I'm gonna gonna tell you what my thoughts are but feel free to let me know your thoughts and what you think about uh, the nostalgia idea whether it would get good scores today if it was released for the first time and uh, yeah hope to see you next time when we take out another snake thanks for watching <laughs>